Hi there, welcome back, and thanks so much for all your likes and subscribes. It really means the world to me, guys. Um, I didn't expect to receive such a warm welcome. I'm totally overwhelmed with all your love, all your comments, all your messages. Thank you so much. I hope you'll keep hitting that like button if I bring you some sunshine, if I bring you some information that's interesting and kind of cool to learn about. Um, I'm here today with all my seeds. I want to show you off, show off all my seeds to you. Um, I have this cool collection I want to talk about. Um, this is going to be a series though, so this is not the whole thing. I just wanted to touch a little bit on it, on what I'm planning uh, in this video. So I was going to talk a little bit about my history, about how I got into gardening, how I got into farming, my passion for plants, I actually have a passion for food in general. But that video got a little boring, just a little bit sad, like sitting, I don't do well just sitting in front of a camera, talk, 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 I, I, that's not me. I'm a very active person, I pretty much can't sit still. Um, and so that's why farming is great for me. Um, but what I figured is, how about this, how about you guys put in the comments what you want to know about and what you're curious of what my background is, if you are, and I will read those comments and address them at the end of each video, and that will kind of break it up a bit and not just drone on and on and on. Um, so today I wanted to show you my seed collection. Um, there's a couple, this is definitely not all of them, just by the way, this is just a fraction, but this is what I've organized so far. This uh, last 2020, I guess, I picked this up. This is a pretty cool organization. Anyway, this is uh, my seed collection. This is actually just a fraction of my seed collection. I kind of um, organized it into the smaller quantities go in here. And uh, I, I did come across this organization system that I really like, but I want to show you Maybe you're um, trying to figure out how, to, how you want to organize your seeds and you pick something like this up. And I just want to show you the reasons why I didn't like this system is because first of all, the drawers are too small to actually hold the packet nicely and you're going to just waste space. You're only going to fit like a packet or two in there, maybe three, and I have a lot more seeds than that. Also, the other thing is that if you wanted to have your seeds kind of open and loose, it's not the best idea because you're going to have a lot of oxygen, a lot of air drying them out. You could have mold. There's, it's plastic, right? So plastic and seeds don't always go super well together. We try to stick to paper for the most part. This is a really cool option. This is one that I've settled on so far. I might expand it and have more bins or I might change it entirely. Who knows? But so far I'm really liking this. I'll give you a peek at what's going on in here. Can you see? <laughs> so I've organized them with these labels and I'm actually in the process of redoing this but I want to show you what I've got so far so I've got some peas and mustards and beans and stuff and then I've got some brassicas here and they're really cool that you pop them out it's actually for photos so um, they fit like I think it's four by six photograph in here for in the days and we actually had photographs but um, they fit the seed pa packets quite perfectly and as you can see I've got all different sizes but um, so what I like about this uh, system is is what much better than what I had, first of all. And they're very portable, they're cute, they're sleek, they hold the, pa the packets perfectly, um, it makes the labeling really easily, they stack nicely, all that. What I don't like is this little tab. This little tab could break off really easily and then your whole thing isn't going to close. Seeds could spill out, uh, not spill out of the packages maybe, but they could spill out. And that's the only thing I'm not crazy about. Um, obviously it's plastic, we're trying. We're all trying to get away from using so much plastic. Um, seeds don't, the best place for selling, or sorry, for storing your seeds is, isn't plastic, which is why everything's still in, in paper inside the plastic. Um, the other thing that I find is, especially with beans for some reason, they fill up so fast and I keep having to use so many of them for beans so it doesn't hold a, a huge quantity. Most people though do garden with a small quantity of seeds so it will work for most people. You can color code them, you can get all clear the, on Amazon, they, they have a whole clear option as well. But what I also like about them is they stack really nicely. It's very organized and uh, you can label the outside, you can label the individual ones and that's pretty cool. So I thought I'd like that and I do. But I wanted to take it one step further. I started. I picked up this book at the library. It's from Suzanne Ashworth called Seed to Seed. It's her seed saving book. And it's just amazing. It's blowing my mind. Every page is just a wealth of information. She's a really good writer. She knows so much about taxonomy um, and seed categorization way more than I've ever even bothered to learn. <laughs> I should have taken a botany course in college, but I never got around to that. Um, 
And I figured what I'd do for you guys is put a series together and go through each plant family and show you the, the obviously the assortments I have of that seed but and then maybe talk a little bit about my experiences growing each plant family and yeah I hope you guys will join me for that that'll be pretty interesting I think and uh, let's delve into it and just and mostly it's going to be on in the capacity I'm not a botanist like I said but I wanted to delve into it into the capacity that will be useful for your gardening and useful for farming useful for growing seedlings which is my, mainly what I'm focusing on right now and uh, yeah let's see where it goes in the ne next videos so I don't know if you're as seed crazy as I am, but the next series of videos are going to be all about plant families and organizing the seeds into those families and uh, you're not going to want to miss it. So I'll see you over there. Hope you'll join me. Thanks so much.